Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and today we will be taking a look at how to achieve the publish subscribe model using OIC3 events. If you've used OIC Gen 2, you might remember there were two patterns of integrations, one being the publish to OIC and the second being subscribe to OIC. Uh, but this is how it was done uh, in Gen 2. But now with the update of 2306 for OIC3, uh, there have been a couple of new options introduced to the tool. Uh, the first being there is a new entry in the integration design menu for events. Uh, this is where you can define events and their message payload uh, for the integrations to use them. Uh, the second being an action within your actual integration uh, for publishing messages, just the way you use uh, actions to call integrations or invoke processes or call JS functions. The same way this would be another option uh, within the design canvas where you can publish messages so that instead of having to create a separate pattern, which you used to do in OIC Gen 2, uh, here any integration can now go ahead and you call this action to uh, publish messages as a part of its flow. Um, and then the third being uh, a new pattern for integration. Uh, this is mainly for the subscribers. Uh, to subscribe to the messages published by uh, other integrations. But um, with the Gen 3, it's not just a basic routing, how it used to be in Gen 2. So you can um, have this listen to the event and then have multiple steps being uh, taken by that integration. Uh, just a quick visual rep representation. Uh, this is not the actual architecture. This is just a visual representation to understand how this would work. So you could have multiple publishers publishing messages. Uh, they can publish the same event or different events. Um, and then you can have multiple subscribers subscribing to the same event or different events. The steps involved in creating this sort of pub sub uh, architecture. So number one, you have to define the event, give it a name um, and the message payload, uh, basically the structure. Um, and currently only JSON is supported. So it would be an inline JSON or you can upload uh, a JSON payload sample. The second step is to create the publisher integrations so that they can use those events and the uh, message structures that we defined to publish those events. Um, and then the third being create the subscribers based on your need so that they can subscribe to the published messages. A couple of restrictions to keep in mind. Uh, currently, only a maximum of 20 subscribers can be created per OIC instance. Um, and this publishing and subscribing does not work within the projects. So to just show a quick example, we will have one publisher integration publishing the service request created event and uh, two subscriber integrations, one that will do some sort of downstream processing and the other just being a notification service. So now let's take a look. Now just heading over to the events menu within the design option, um, you will go ahead and create a, another event We'll call this service request created event. Click continue. And this will ask us to give either uh, upload a JSON sample or you can do it in line. Well, I have a sample here, so I'll just go ahead and paste that and we can click create. Now we'll go to integrations and we will create a publisher integration. So this can either be application or schedule or even a subscriber integration can subscribe to some event then publish another event right so going back to the application um, let's create a publisher here so we will say service request created publisher um, and then we can click create so I created the integration that accepts a payload from whoever's calling this. And then we'll go ahead and add the publish event action, uh, which will bring up the 
list of events that have been created, um, or you could define a new one. Um, and if you want to look at the payload, you can also do that by looking here. And the one and three, the pipes after that are the revisions to uh, the event. So we'll go ahead and choose the service requested one and click finish. And we will do the appropriate mapping. And thus the integration is ready to be activated. The next step is to create the subscribers. And then you can select the same event that we that the subscriber will be listening to. Then click finish. And for now, just for testing, we will use a logger. And let's log the comments. And so this integration is also ready to be activated. So let's uh, run our publisher and see the results. And as you can see in the activity stream, our data was in fact published. Now let's take a look at the observability and see if our subscriber ran. So as you can see, after the publisher, the subscriber also ran almost instantaneously. And if you take a look at the logger, you will see that the dishwasher showing error codes is not working. Um, is the message that was published and the subscriber read that. And uh, finally, if you come back to the events design page, you will see that two integrations are using this. And if you click on that, you cannot see the list of subscribers as well as the publishers who are currently consuming uh, this event. A quick note on how to edit the payloads once you've defined them and the integrations are using them. Um, to do that, you can go ahead and click this edit here. And on the edit, it will ask you if you want to change the name. But in this case, we're not interested in that. Uh, here, we're just adding another field that's called date. And then you can hit save and it will update it. Now, if you open the menu, you will see that the revision is two. Uh, but the integrations, since they're activated, they would still be using the older one. Now, if you want the integrations to use the newer event payload, then you would have to go ahead and deactivate the integration, go into the integration, click Edit, and here you will see the checkbox that says Use Latest Revision. And once you do that, and you click Finish, you will see that in the mapping, the extra field that we added called date should pop up here. And it's the same way for the publisher as well. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.